What's going on peeps, Mastermind here, and welcome back to another edition of Gaming Ideas. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I want to start off by saying this is just my opinion. I'm not going by any kind of speculation or what other people may think. This is just something I might be sitting home one day and playing a game, and all of a sudden something pops up in my head. And if the idea seems good enough, I may go ahead and make a video about it. So let's begin here with Uncharted 4. Let me start off about Uncharted 4 and say that this game was absolutely incredible. I didn't really get a chance to review it because by the time I got my hands on it, the game was already kind of out for a while. And given the fact that it's so popular, given the fact that it sold so well, and given the fact that it was so amazing, there wasn't really anything new I could have added to the conversation about giving it a review or giving it any kind of impression. So uh, I, I really didn't do that. But I can say that my rating and how I feel about the game, I would give it a 9.5. I think it's that great and it's a wonderful game and it really is in my opinion the definitive next generation game. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for for years and it's here and it's on the PlayStation 4. This is not some PC exclusive that can't be done on home consoles. This is all running on a PlayStation 4. What you're looking at on the screen here is just absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this. I can say that as far as artistry is concerned and all the details and everything that they put in the game, I I've never seen a prettier looking game. This is by far the best looking game I've ever played. And it goes just beyond the graphics because all the little subtle details with the way they handle conversations and the way you see, uh, you know, fish swimming in the water and the way you see the trees moving and look at the rain effects here and the lightning effects everything that they've put into it all the little effects all the little nuances everything that you see here is exactly what i'm talking about what video games should be instead plenty of times we're paying 60 dollars for video games that are not nowhere near complete not just in the gameplay department but also in the graphics department and this is what i'm talking about this is a full package and it's gorgeous so that's what I think about Uncharted 4. Now, my gaming idea really has to do with the future of Uncharted. Now, it's been said that this is the last Uncharted game. That could be a marketing thing, who knows? But if it is true, there seems to be quite a bit of room for maybe a spin-off. And if there was a spin-off, what character would we see? This game has a lot of characters that we can kind of dig back into their stories. And it doesn't have to necessarily be this kind of action-adventure game either. Would we see right here... Nathan's brother, Sam? What do you think about that, huh? That's pretty cool. Take the wheel for a second. All this running around, surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna. Yeah. Now, I don't know how realistic this would be because actually most of us find uh, Nathan to be the cooler brother. So maybe it won't be him if they ever did like a spinoff. Maybe it would be Sully. Now, Sully's the older guy, and he seems to have a really deep past that they just kind of hint at. And it would be really cool to fully explore that and go back and really create a whole new game on what this guy did back in the past. But I really don't know what the future will hold because... Anybody who's really passionate about the Uncharted games, and, and there's a lot of fans out there, they don't really want their franchises to deviate too far from what they really are. And I can understand that. But given how talented Naughty Dog is and what they've managed to do even with The Last of Us, they've proven that they do not have to continuously keep making the same games over and over again. They're really diverse. Anything that they put their hands on and, and any world that they want to create, you know that they're going to do something amazing. Here's the thing. We only have Tomb Raider and Uncharted that fill that kind of void in the video game market. As far as that exploration, that 
Indiana Jones style of game where you're uh, raiding tombs and exploring these uh, remote places around the world and sunken ships like you see in here. You, you really don't see that in video games and that's kind of odd because you would think that would be a much more explored type of genre in video games. So where am I going from here? What do I think should happen as far as maybe a possible spin-off or an extra character for the Uncharted series or something different? And it's right here. Nadine. Now, I don't want to give away too much of the story, but Nadine is a character and she is a bad ass. And she's not exactly fleshed out. So you know some things about her, but there's a lot you don't know. And I can tell you she is really tougher. She's she's much more driven towards fighting and much more driven towards combat and much more driven towards that kind of aspect. Something that Uncharted really doesn't I mean, Uncharted has shooting and Uncharted has some great fight scenes and set pieces where there's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, but it's not really centered around that. And Naughty Dog does that really well. Like, if you think about how the fighting was in The Last of Us and you think about what it is in the Uncharted series, you have to look at it and say, wow, I'm surprised that they haven't really had more of that style of game where it's a lot more hand-to-hand -hand and a lot more kind of uh, grittier, dirty, kind of in-your-face style of action and with the scenes a lot of the scenes with Nadine we got a lot of that in Uncharted 4 and again I, I don't want to I don't want this video to be where I'm giving away too much of Uncharted if you haven't played through it it's just an idea that I'm having if all the characters that you see all the side characters in this game which one to me was the most interesting and it by far was Nadine as much as I wanted to know what happened there was a duration in the game where uh, Sam was unaccounted for for like 15 years. Uh, that would be a really interesting story to flesh out. And maybe that's a game within itself. Who knows? But the scenes that I saw here with Nadine, every time Nadine was on the screen, every time this character came up, I was kind of enthralled because you get the sense that she's good and bad. You get the sense that she has separate motivations than everyone else in the game. And I really, really enjoy that kind of thing. One, that was one of the things that I like about Joel in The Last of Us is there's something else there. You know, deep down inside in the core, he's a good person, but there's something else there. And you know that these characters are capable of doing more than just good if it means their survival or the survival of people that they love. I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. And Nadine, I think, fills that kind of character type that we can probably learn a lot from. And another thing that's really intriguing to me, and this is on video games in general, for a few years there's been a lot of complaints about diversity in the video game industry, just like we see in Hollywood. But I don't, I can't recall the last time on a, or ever on a AAA title where the main character was a female black woman. I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think we're going to probably really see that too often. I'm not talking about games where you can create your own character or AAA games where the character is kind of like just a faceless, nameless character that just you create and doesn't really have its own personality. I'm talking a fully fleshed out story where the main protagonist is a black woman. I would love to see that because I think video games tell stories probably just as good if not better than movies because you're kind of controlling them and you can and in some instances like Mass Effect and different games you can actually change your path and your story depending on what you do so video games really know how to tell a story and what would be better than to diversify the market and really surprise people and give people a totally different point of view that's one of the reasons why I'm attracted to Mirror's Edge and now we're getting a new Mirror's Edge coming out and just the fact that her race or ethnicity have nothing to do with the character itself that's good too because it still shows that we can have people of different colors and backgrounds and that have really nothing to do with the story but it still puts us in a different situation than what we're currently used to in the video game industry all i'm saying is it would be great to really have a, a, a different perspective and again her race really has nothing to do with her character at least it doesn't in this particular game the character of Nadine could have very well easily been a white male 
or any other gender or any other race. But the fact is, she's not a man. They intentionally made her a black woman and they intentionally made her mysterious. You don't really know too much about her, but you know enough to know that she has her own set of motivations and she does have a moral compass. And that's where I'm going to leave it as far as what the character is in this game. Because again, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't gone through the game or isn't finished going through the game. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. So anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of Gaming Ideas. Thank you once again for watching. And if you got something to say, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I look forward to hearing from you. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mastermind out. Thank you once again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Mastermind Out.